Great. Hi everyone, this is Mary Jo and we are videoing, I have a video come to you from Historic Dads inside the now Elvis Signature Hotel. Uh, this is formerly um, the Clarion Hotel, but it was the original Ramada Inn when Elvis himself came to the Ramada and visited here in the early 70s when it was built while his friend Jimmy Velvet performed on this very stage. Uh, of course, a lot of hist uh, historic stars have performed on this stage. And I have today with me uh, Blanche Scott, who knew Elvis from school, and Blanche has written a book about Elvis. And I'm gonna let her tell you just a little bit about her years knowing Elvis. I'm Blanche Jordan Scott. As Blanche Jordan, uh, in 1949, I met a young Elvis Presley at age 14. He and George Klein walking from Humes High School to Lauderdale Courts, where Elvis Presley lived when they first moved up here. And I worked at Old St. Joseph Hospital as a, in the coffee shop during school days and as a nurse's aide on the weekends. So that put me with Elvis Presley uh, off and on for seven years because I was down in town where he lived. We became confidants and he could talk to me because we were both from small towns in Mississippi and the other kids were kind of different from us. We thought we were different from them and that gave Elvis and me a bond because we were both listening to the Grand Ole Opry every Saturday night, our families were. So Elvis believed at an early age that God had given him his voice to bring people together, but he didn't know how he was going to do it. But he had a guitar stashed under the front porch of one of the shotgun houses there on our route to uh, Lawndale Courts and St. Joseph every day. So we would sit on the front porch of this house and he would sing what he was working on for that week. And um, I learned at age 15 that you didn't tell Elvis Presley that you didn't like anything. I said, I like this one better than that. That's got me through life. And uh, so Elvis was just, uh, he had a dream from early age that uh, he just knew that his destiny was to be some kind of performer. And he wanted to make a million dollars so his mom wouldn't have to work anymore because he loved his mom. And he wanted to make a million dollars to dress her up and ride her down through the streets of Tupelo in a Cadillac with furs and jewelry all over them because they kind of were looked down on them when they left Tupelo. And he made that dream come true. And so Elvis and I walked and talked all along the streets of Memphis, Tennessee when we were in high school. And the day I grad when I graduated, that was the end of the school program. So I went down to uh, uh, the float. I'd been on the cotton carnival float in 1951 to pick up the pictures. And um, Elvis went with me. And uh, so while we were picking up the pictures with this man, Mr. Mike App, that uh, helped all of us kids with the floats, he was in a wheelchair, but he uh, helped all of us so much he was good to us. But he said, what have you been doing? I said, well, I've been looking for a job. My job is over with at St. Joseph. That was a school program. And he said, well, don't start at the bottom, start at the top. So he said, let me make a phone call. So he came back in there and he said, uh, I called Philip Perrell at Perrell Lawrenstein Jewelry Store at 144 South Main. I said, you go down there now and he's gonna hire you. Elvis Presley went with me. He hired me, I stayed for 10 years, and that put Elvis and me in the vicinity of W.C. Handy Park, Bill Street, Chiska Hotel, where George Klein was working as a gopher for Dewey Phillips. But the main thing is that day, when we went to Perrin Lornstein, two kids walked through that door of that Perrin's jeweler, and it was diamonds and emeralds and pearls and watches and Two kids from Mississippi mud. We walked through those doors and those beautiful mirrors and everything on each side. We thought we were Alice in Wonderland. And uh, so we, so much of my uh, young life was with Elvis Presley's young life that we walked all the streets of Memphis down to the river, 
rolled and tumbled down to the water and um, on uh, all the north end when I was at St. Joseph Hospital and then when I went to Peril Lornstein, we did all the south end. And we, we walked all of one of the Christmas stories that we would walk when all the lights and everything was lit up for Christmas, all down on Main Street. Oh, Elvis loved all the Christmas lights and the trees. And uh, then they, uh, Goldsmiths had a wonderland. And it was just beautiful. So we would go there and look at that. And then he would go up to Perils, and it, on the third floor, they would let us sit up there and watch the parades go back. And oh, Elvis loved the Christmas lights and everything that we walked all the streets, and sometimes in the snow. But um, oh, I have a lot of wonderful stories of Elvis Presley in my book. Elvis was sure one of a kind, wasn't he, Blige? Um, while you're in Memphis, come visit us at the uh, new St. Elvis Signature Hotel or the King Hotel on East Brooks Road. We would love to have you. Blanche visits with us all the time. And while here at the hotel, visit the Elvis booth in the historic dance where Elvis sits. So come have your picture made at the Elvis booth with us. Thanks so much.